Now the victims of domestic violence we rarely hear from. Tonight, the men who break their silence about violent wives and partners who attack them. I was stabbed five times by my ex-partner. You are a violent woman. Why do you beat up on men? It's graphic. From the operation, they had to give me to save my life. And in many ways, still taboo to talk about. They're just not being believed. That silence is a killer. You get away from me, you psychotic animal. You. Tonight, the often untold side of domestic violence, where men are the victims. If, if I did to her what she did to me, I wouldn't be sitting here, I'd be in jail. Well, nobody wants to know about male victims of domestic violence. Mainstream domestic violence literature reports women being at risk. Statistics showing, on average, one woman a week is killed by a former or current partner. Every reference in here is all pointing to the male being the perpetrator. And what do you think of that? <laughs> it's just wrong because it, it's not always the male who is the perpetrator. So what are the statistics when it comes to men? On A Current Affair, we've covered many domestic violence stories and every time we do, our inbox fills with emails and messages from men and their families saying they're victims. Now, we know some women's groups will challenge what you're about to hear. A report which says one in three are victims of some kind of abuse. They simply just don't always report it. That was probably one of the hardest things, was the, was the shame, was it? You are a... You're so Violent so being a You're so... This is the violent and frightening side of Phil Hunt's private life he used to keep secret. Broke me glasses again. That was... Violent, violent Hayley, all on record. And this, a woman who almost killed her former partner, Simon Lanham. Is it okay for a woman to hit a man? There are two sides to every story. Cherie Maxfield. Hi, I'm Lisa from A Current Affair. But the scars of domestic violence don't lie. Look at this. You stabbed him. I did not him. do that. That's operation. You stabbed him. You stabbed him. Yes, I and did. In fact, if Cherie Maxfield was a man, she'd be labelled a monster. This is exactly the same as the knife she used to stab me with. There was uh, things thrown at me. Um, like what? Pots and glasses, and I remember one night, one night she um, threw a um, like a ceramic vase type thing at me, and it just shattered on the wall, like she threw it that hard. Um, and luckily, I dodged it. You didn't retaliate at all. No. Why? No. It, it was just wrong. Seconds before Phil Hunt hit record on this video, he says his partner of four years attacked him in an all too common rage. Was there a point where you feared for your safety? Yeah, it did. As there was times that, uh, when especially when she was in the kitchen throwing things, I'm just glad there wasn't a knife around. What would she do? A lot of pushing, a lot of shoving, a lot of right up in your face. Yeah, you know, really, real angry. Um, when you say pushing and shoving, how violent was it? How aggressive? Fairly aggressive, fairly aggressive in the fact that um, there was a couple of times she pushed me and I actually fell over. Like many female victims, Phil kept up a happy facade. When he did finally go to police for help, he says a policewoman dismissed him. She basically told me, just man up and deal with the problem because, you know, because my ex was quite small, like say so she wasn't a large girl or anything like that. She sort of looked at her as if to say, how could she do any damage to you? The court reports show that you've had a, a previous relationship that was also violent. You are a violent woman. Why no, do you I'm beat up violent. on men? No, I do not. Why is it okay? Cherie Maxfield is a convicted domestic violence perpetrator. And she doesn't like it when she's the one being confronted. Why is it OK for a woman to hit a man? In a fit of rage, she nearly killed her former partner, Simon Lanham, ending what he says were five torturous years of dangerous physical abuse. Well, they told me that I should have died. They can't understand why I'm not dead. He says you've thrown things at him, you've spat in his face. Cherie Maxfield attacked and then stabbed Simon multiple times with a steak knife 
just like this one. It wasn't the first time she'd attack me with a knife, but she'd always come at me when I could see her coming, so I could stop her, but it was dark and she got me from behind. Well, what do you think, Cherie, about men who hit women? What do you think about... <laughs> I think there should be something done about domestic violence when it comes to... What? I can't do So this. what about women beating men? Do you think something should be done about women who beat men? It's desperate. The, the situation is just desperate. Jasmine Newman of Relating to Men says the problem is far more widespread than people think. There, there's no shelters, there's no counselling, um, there's no services available to them. You know, we provide government funded services uh, for women, but we're not providing government funded services for men. She says she sees husbands, partners and fathers driven to the brink of suicide. We all feel pain the same and we need to take away this approach that um, domestic violence is gendered. It, it, it just messes with you completely because you find that you've got no support and you know when there's no support there, it, you just don't know where to turn. Research suggests men are three times more likely than women to keep the abuse a secret. There's still a very big stigma about machoism um, with men. Is there an element of shame or embarrassment in being a man and saying, I'm a victim of domestic violence? Very much so, yeah. Um, well, because, you know, even other blokes, mates, you can't control your woman, you know? It's like, well, I'm not into controlling anyone. Did you ever fight back? I wouldn't say back, but I did hit her once. It's the only time I've ever hit a woman. And, uh, yeah, she actually won because that's what her aim was, was to get me to hit her. It took her 12 hours. What do you mean it took 12 hours? From when she wanted me to hit her, from when I actually hit her. Uh, in, during that 12 hours, I had, oh, probably got punched in the head about 50 times. I got spat in the face a dozen times. I got grabbed by the testicles and dragged to the ground half a dozen times. I got kicked and eventually, she cornered me and got in my face and I hit her. So you're being honest? Yeah, I was instantly sorry because, well, I, I could honestly say before that I'd never hit a woman in my life and now I can't say that anymore. I'd put up with so much as, as much as I possibly could. Phil Hunt and his partner were a professional working couple. She's now overseas and he's being treated for post-traumatic stress disorder. Still haunted, he says, by flashbacks. And I'm driving up the freeway doing 100 kilometres an hour and she's hitting me in the back of the head. She's abusing me, she's just screaming at me, just continually just taunts and everything like that. Do you think more men need to speak up? It would probably help, but um, people have got to be listening when you speak up anyway, don't they? If no one's listening, it doesn't matter how loud you yell. Domestic violence is not acceptable by men or women. And if you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, there is help available. Contact Lifeline on 131114. That's 131114.